The Forest Detective, case number nine. Under an oak tree in the forest. We discovered the dead body of a giant weaver. But during our investigation, Oh, no, oh, no! Uh, Molly, you have to be more careful! Oh, uh -huh. this is bad! Uh -oh. oh, where did I put the tissue? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah! it, it disappeared! <laughs> My question is... Where did the giant weevil's body disappear to? Where did it go? <laughs> uh, mm. The giant weevil was dead, so it couldn't have walked off. Of course not. This was definitely done by the culprit that killed it. The killer took the dead giant weevil's body in order to destroy all the evidence. I can't wait to catch this guy. Mm. Hey! Oh? Molly, why you? <laughs> did you get some info? Uh. There was a bird who had its eye on the giant weevil. Bird? A bird, huh? Aha! Come on, let's go! <laughs> go! <laughs> hey, bird! Fess up! You killed the giant weevil, didn't you? Giant weevil? You're right, I did have my eye on him. Aha! But when I went to swoop him up, he was already dead. He was already dead? Don't you lie! You didn't want us to find out that you killed the weevil, so you took the dead body right under our noses! Ha! You probably ate him! Oh, that's just disgusting! I don't eat dead things! What? You, you don't eat dead things? That's right! I only go for things that are alive, like you guys! Yeah! Uh, if it wasn't the bird, then who was it? Oh. The culprit must have left some clue somewhere. Hmm, this oak tree. After further investigation, we found out that the giant weevil enjoyed eating the sap that came out of oak trees. Maybe he was eating the sap. Hey, Pete, I found out that a rhinoceros beetle was here. Rhinoceros beetle? It's common knowledge that rhinoceros beetles love oak tree sap. I know what happened. The rhinoceros beetle must have confronted the giant weevil who was eating the sap. That's what happened, right? I did go to eat oak tree sap, but I didn't run into a giant weevil. <laughs> Don't lie to me. You were afraid that we'd find your horn marks from the attack. So, you took the weevil's body from under us. No, that's not true. You must have hid the weevil's dead body somewhere around here. Where is it? Is it here? Uh, I said it wasn't me. Why won't you believe me? <laughs> I know it was the rhinoceros beetle. I have to find proof. Uh, would you mind moving so I can eat some sap? <laughs> For a minute there, I thought it was the same weevil that was dead. Uh, but Pete, I think it is the same giant weevil. What? You uh, see, when I was outlining the dead weevil's body before. Oh goodness! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 
Well, take a look. The outline. And the white mark on the giant weevil's bottom is a match! So, so then, that's the dead giant weevil? Oh. I'm not dead. Ah! It's, it's a, a ghost! ghost! <laughs> 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 Get away! Get away! Uh, I said I'm not dead! Uh, get away! Shoot! 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 Get away! Uh, what happened? <sighs> Is he okay? Is he dead again? Uh, uh, he's alive! <laughs> Apparently, the giant weevil wasn't really dead. He was only playing dead. If the giant weevil senses danger, then he'll pretend to be dead, even for hours. On his way to eat sap, the giant weevil saw a bird, his natural enemy, and whack. The bird, thinking that the weevil was dead, flew off without eating him. When the bird left, he was about to get up, but then... <laughs> Let's investigate! So he had to play dead again. But soon, he realized that we weren't a threat to him. So while we had our backs turned for a moment, the weevil quietly made his escape. Oh, we had no idea. Oh. Playing dead is how giant weevils survive the dangers of the forest. In other words, it's their survival strategy. <sighs> Since we solved the case, how about we do some cleaning? <laughs> what are you, giant weevils? Get up! <laughs> the mystery is solved!